Oh, I found you, Miss New Booty. Oh my god, the whole bus is shaking. <laughs> Hey, what are we doing? We're going to see our bus. <laughs> Any further details? Uh, trying to leave the house. Oh. not ready. Oh, well, I'm hoping just your brother and his buddy Keith can actually tell us if we made a good decision on buying this bus. Yeah, we'll see. This is the first time we're actually having a mechanic look at uh, the bus that we purchased, so I'm a little worried about that. You? Um, I don't know. I'm trying not to be worried about it before I know what's going on, so. Yeah, that's actually been a big part of this whole thing is like, there's a worry at like every single step you make and ultimately it's just a worry and like you can like worry yourself to death. Um, <laughs> we could just worry and not do it. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of watch if they want to force you guys to be Flushing shit out. Don't let them. Don't let them? Don't flush the transmission. Don't do none of that kind of stuff. Yeah. These older vehicles, it breaks stuff loose in the transmission if you go out and flushing that shit and all that. And then it creates big problems. Mm, yeah. Big problems. When they're cold, you can see a slot. Whoops, sorry. It says hot right there. That's you check it when it's running, or you just shut it off while it's hot. Yeah. And you'll see a slot. Any other time you want to see it down in this area, you actually only need to be down here at that lower end if it's cold, sitting in a parking lot or whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean, and not when it's running, or you just shut it off. That's how to check it when it, the engine's hot. Yes. Yeah, so okay. You just shut it off in the parking lot, and you think, oh, I'm gonna check it. It'll be way up here. Yeah, that makes sense. Like right now, it should be down in here. Tranny fluid looks good. It looks clean actually. And that looks like they only have water in it. Because I put a 50-50 in there. Yeah, but I think the majority of what they had in there was a water. Because that looks that looks pretty clear. It looks like they put a new belt on here sometime. At some point. Yeah. A new serpentine belt looks like it was on there. There's a block heater. Oh, nice. So if you ever find yourselves in uh, cold, cold yeah. places, I mean, that just, for a gap. You just keep it plugged in. I'm going to try to get in on the other side and check the ball joints and stuff. You got two batteries on these. See, and that's what she said is she thought there was another battery. There so is. It's that right here. that one probably hasn't been replaced. Yeah. I bet does that look older? Actually, that one don't look as old as the top one. Oh, really? The rear main on your tranny looks all right. Don't look like it's leaking too much. If any, there is a leak up front, but I'm trying to see where that's coming from. Huh, not horrible. I think you guys got valve, a couple valve covers that are leaking. Looks like there's a small little leak on the back side of the uh, your rear differential case here. You know, that's nothing that's gonna keep you from going and doing what you want to do. Cause it ain't like it just dumps out or nothing. I put new rear tires on it. Mm -hmm. Just so you guys ain't got no bullshit to deal with while you guys are trying to travel around. You know, that's one yeah. less headache you guys got to yeah. worry about. <laughs> the brakes you have to be pretty heavy footed with, obviously, in the first place, but... It, I was... it needs new brake pads. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because the gaskets on those valve covers, that's where your oil leak's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, I mean, it kind of gave it away when it was on your exhaust manifold. It's like it's too high to be a rear main or a front main or anything like that out of the engine, so... Check the ball joints and lube that thing up in the front. It needs to be lubed up. That's what I say when I go in. Can you just lube that can, thing can up you, in can, the front? You, can you lube me? Yeah, can you lube me? Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Because it needs it. It's been a little while. I mean, all the little boots and rubber boots are actually, they're, they're down. So it's time for them to be okay. filled back up full of grease. Okay. Uh, rear end gasket, like I said, you guys, 
that thing will last you another 500 million miles with that little leak that's down there. It wouldn't, wouldn't cause you guys yeah. no issues at all. Is there like a specific type of brake pad you can get or are they just generic brake pads There's in the first? There's all kinds. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would get the best. Get all the right. best ones. And normally you're talking between like, actually like a $22 set of brake pads, which is basically like almost like your asbestos pads. Yeah. Then you can go up to a ceramic that's like 45, 50 bucks for a set. But they're, they're those are the ones that are gonna, yeah, they're gonna take all the heat. In the mountains and stuff, they're gonna yeah. take the heat. Your newer vehicles don't care about the mountains too much because the computer just makes adjustments for it. Okay. Diesels have never cared. They just okay. give it more fuel and start sucking more air and make it happen. I mean, if you take that one off, re-put the studs back on that thing, slap it on one of your fronts, you're good. Even if you need to take it off and those are good, and this yeah. is just beating around, yeah. take it off, go in the back, get to town, get it repaired, whatever. Do you have any favorite tire brands? Not really. No. Okay. I was just wondering if you no. really, if you if you hate one particular one or if you've had bad experiences. No, I or I've actually had good luck with pretty much every 10 fly I've put on there. I usually just wear them out. This doghouse is slide back. You can set it back there and you can get to the engine. That's mm. how they'll work on this thing. Oh, okay. They're going to end up sliding this piece off and they'll take this completely out of here. Gotcha. And they'll have that folded back where they can get to them screws and you just wiggle that out of there. But the wiring's running right through here and back around, which is no bigger. You get rid of all of this, put you a little plate there, and it depends on where the wiring is. If you pop this loose, you can tuck it right in there. The AC, what's the matter with it? Not working? Um, Not pumping cold. The, yeah. Well, the, that you're gonna, they will have to uh, try to fill some in it. Mm -hmm. She said it works when you fill it. Then it's leaking. So if you fill it and it works for a while, then there's a leak on a compressor system somewhere. But I'd use that big one in the back then, because this one here would be fairly costly to get repaired on the engine. Is there any additional advice you'd give to someone that is looking for a bus of like the main things that would be red flags for you if you were looking at a vehicle? Oh, definitely. Uh, big things around the rear main leaking on an engine. Nope. That means you got to pop that engine and there's ways to fix it, but it's not good. Mm -hmm. You just stay away from that. Transmission's leaking. Tranny fluid looking poorly. Does it show up on the dipstick? Yes. There's moisture on the dipstick. Water. Oh, water. Okay. Basically, it ain't really water. It's actually your coolant. Since you have cooling uh, chambers running through your head, that gasket, your head gasket's leaking, so it's getting in there, and you could even smell it. How many miles it got on? 140,000. They got miles from the leaking. Yeah. That's when you got 140,000 on the diesel and shit. Yeah. There ain't nothing there. Okay. There ain't nothing there. I mean, my hand's a little wet. You can see it. That's just because it's burning all the condensation. Okay, cool. But it'll tell you, you'll be able to smell it almost instantly. Sweet. There's more than enough storage on the back side of this thing underneath it. Okay, you can good. Do whatever you want to. That makes me feel really good. If you want a really solar good. system, there's plenty of room under there for that. No yelling on the box! She doesn't know I'm filming. Oh my God, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we went to go check out this bus twice, and though it was the first bus that we ended up uh, looking at and ultimately purchasing, we've been looking online for a year, year and a half. So I've seen garbage buses. I've been looking at forums and things to look for. There's just miscellaneous. His rust was a big thing. And uh, after bringing her friend TJ along with us to look at the bus, he gave me confirmation that there was nothing that was like super red flag, even though he wasn't a diesel guy. And now that Keith has taken a look at it and said that we got a pretty decent bus and for the price that we paid for the bus, we did really good. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling super happy about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. It's kind of a relief. But no, it's a big relief. <laughs> what else? I don't know, I'm just like really like <laughs> You gotta do the you gotta go through. Yeah. Thank you. God. <laughs> like we haven't done that before. Alright, so this is the inside of the bus, probably for the final time before we start to take out the seats. I'm excited to have the seats out so we can like tape a layout to the floor and like get measurements, see where the wheel walls are and see how they're gonna crush my dreams. <laughs> He's a lefty, so. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you how to use tools incorrectly this whole entire time. Yeah, don't watch him, you might lose a limb. Yeah, if this was like an episode of Jackass, there'd be a warning. It's like, warning, no one knows how to use tools in this program. Viewer discretion is advised.
All just right. wanted to tell everyone that I have no idea what I'm doing with Cole's camera, so sorry for being unfocused and then refocused. Oh, hey! Snap. Righty, loosey, lefty. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. I found you, Miss New Booty. Oh my god, the whole bus is shaking. Right, we get it? Hey, first seat. Whoa. See, I never doubted my abilities to work a tool ever. All right, so got three seats out now. It was uh, quite the clusterfuck. I had to reach back underneath the seat and over what I presume this to be a heater. So they took out the bus seats and put in shuttle seats, but they left all of the bolts and none of those are coming up. So uh, they twist, but they don't thread up. So we gotta figure that out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Large to fit down here. Jesus. I just uh, gave myself a concussion. I hit the uh, exit door probably uh, as hard as you can possibly hit it in the back of my head. Sweating you, in my eyes. How are you feeling? Hot. Just got like the tiniest amount of space to try to thread the wrench in there. Got it? Yep. Go faster. I cannot. I am turning this down a quarter of an inch at a time. So obviously our limitations in tool knowledge is starting to come into play right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Dad's still out of town, so. <laughs> yeah, the real work will begin once Jim is here, but I think he'll be pretty happy that we've already gotten yeah. the majority of every single chair out of here. Yeah, Monica really pulled the weight towards the end of the day for us, so she's like sweating her balls off and yeah. I just came from having a <laughs> cheese and crackers uh, break in the AC. Yeah, that sounds nice. There's, there's more <laughs> cheese and crackers, I didn't eat all of them. This is only day two and it's crazy, like I feel like a lot of progress is happening. Mm -hmm. This bus is dirty as fuck. Yeah, it's nasty and we, <laughs> <laughs> it's so nasty. This bus seat is exactly why we're planning on having a queen size bed in the bus. <laughs> your body heat is just radiating right now. Your body heat is radiating. My body heat, your body <laughs> heat. <laughs> we'll go sentence for sentence. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check out our build out process. And thanks for coming. See you soon. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. All right, bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs>